Hey guys, today I'm doing my May wrap up. So let's get started. I'm gonna go in the order that I had them listed. So I'm gonna start with some movies and talk about some books. So let's get started with that. And I'm going to, right here, I'm just going to write the name of the things that I don't have physically here. Um, so I hope that will suffice. I don't know. So you, but you won't see a picture. But I will, right here, I will put my letter grade. But here is where the title will be for a few seconds. So let's get started with my first movie. So the first movie that I watched, and the first trilogy movie that I watched was the Iron Man trilogy. I'm just going to lump them together because I have them all three together on my list. So the first movie, I gave a um a c plus because i didn't love this film i found iron man to be really frustrating and annoying but i didn't hate it either it was just a decent film so yeah i gave this a c plus and then i watched iron man 2 and this is my least favorite film of the entire franchise. I found Iron Man to be incredibly annoying in this film. I just couldn't stand his humor, if you could call it that. I found him arrogant and cocky and annoying. Yeah, so I gave this a C minus. And the last film is Iron Man 3, which is my favorite of the Iron Man movies and not my, not one of my favorites, like in the middle, um, and I gave this a B plus because I did really enjoy this film. I, I liked how it focused on all of the characters in Iron Man's universe and not just Iron Man. So the next film I'm going to talk about, I think it's a film, isn't it? Yes. The next film I'm going to talk about is Captain America, the first Avenger. The Captain America trilogy is my favorite of the entire Marvel franchise. I give this in I give this film installment an A minus because although it is one of my favorite films, I I just wasn't I found myself trying harder to um, invest myself in this film just because I was so burned out at that point, but I still really enjoyed this one. And yeah, first book I'm going to talk about is History is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera. And I loved this book. I gave this an A plus or a five out of five stars on Goodreads. I really enjoyed this film. I found the characters to be wonderful and really um, diverse and word, um, com complex. That's the word I'm saying, more complex. Um, and I found it to be heartwarming, but also heart-wrenching because the premise. Yeah. I'm definitely going to be picking up more books by Adam in the future. The next film I have is The Incredible Hulk. And this is, again, one of, one of my favorites. I gave this a B plus, almost an A minus, because I found it to be very dark and gritty and also just a great film. It just, yeah, it just added a lot to the table. I don't know, I just really don't like the Iron Man series. <laughs> oh well. Okay, uh, the next book I'm going to talk about is Lumberjanes Volume 3. This is a book, this is another book that I read for the Book buddy -a -thon, and I really enjoyed this one. I gave this a A- minus or an or a four out of five stars because this isn't my favorite volume of the series just because I read it so far apart from from the first two so it took me a while to get into it but once I was I was completely hooked and I loved this one. The first one that I have physically here is Aqua War by Sarah J Mass. I gave this a five out of five stars or an A plus. Really enjoyed this one. I, I loved how everything wrapped up. It just was a wonderful conclusion. 
to a trilogy that started out pretty rocky but got better as it went on. I really enjoyed this one and I cried a lot in this one. Yeah. And I'm really excited for the continuation of this series. The next book I'm going to talk about is The Height You Give by Angie Thomas. And I have a kind of unpopular opinion of this one. I use this a 3.5 out of 5 stars or a B plus. I didn't love this book. I mainly I mainly found a problem with the plot execution. It just I just found myself not caring that much about everything except for the murder plot. I just found the rest of it pointless, to be honest. I just didn't care that much about it. And a lot of the characters seemed pointless with their drama. Yeah, I still enjoyed this, but not as much as everyone else did. The next book I'm going to talk about is The Hidden Oracle by Rick Riordan. This is my favorite Rick Riordan book. I just, I liked Apollo and all, but I just missed, I don't know, I just, it didn't do anything for me like the rest of his books did. It's my second least favorite. It's like tied with the blood of Olympus for me for least favorite, for second least favorite. I just didn't enjoy this one as much as say the Magnus, Magnus Chase books because I love those ones. I have volumes five and six of the five and six of the saga series by Brian K. Vaughan and Fiona Staples. I really enjoyed these two. I gave them both the same rating of four out of five stars or a B plus. Yes, of a B plus because they just weren't my favorite. I still really enjoyed them. This just isn't my favorite series ever. Next I'm going to talk about volumes four and five of Lumberjanes because I read those as well this month and I like I like these two volumes more than three because I read them so close to each other. Um, five is my fav is one of my favorites because it focuses on my favorite character of April. And yeah, I just really enjoyed these two in the series. The next film I'm going to talk about is Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. I this was a rewatch rewatch for me and I forgot how much I really enjoyed this this film. I gave this a an A because I thoroughly enjoyed myself and it has a lot of my favorite actors in it, so it was fun seeing them before they did some of my favorite films by them. Next is another one of my least favorite Marvel films and that is Thor Dark World. I just don't care about Thor. Um, I gave this a C minus like I did Iron Man because I did find myself caring a little tiny bit about Jane and Darcy mainly I, because of how pretty they're at, the actors are, the actresses are. I just didn't, don't care about Thor. Next is my favorite film in the Marvel franchise and that is Captain America Winter Soldier. This film was so good, so action-packed, such character development. It was a wonderful, wonderful film. I gave this an A+, plus, obviously, just, and it focused on my two favorite Avengers, Captain America and Black Widow. So, of course, I was going to enjoy it because I love these two characters. They're fantastic. Next is my second favorite. <laughs> Marvel franchise movie, and that is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Volume One. I really enjoyed this one. I just love, I loved it. I love the humor. I love the characters. I like the core cast of characters. They were just fun, and yeah, I just, I really enjoyed this film, and I'm excited to see Volume Two. But I still need to see Doctor Strange because it's the only one I have not seen yet.
I lied when I said Thor Dark World was my le- was my second least favorite. This next film is my second least favorite Marvel franchise movie, and that is Avengers Age of Ultron. They just took all of the Avengers and completely destroyed their characters, especially Iron Man, because Iron Man 3 has some character development for him that was all destroyed in this film. And I found Black Widow was played to just be the woman of the group and not nothing else. She wasn't she wasn't really played to be a character. She was just there as the woman. Which I didn't like. Of course I didn't like it. The next things I'm gonna talk about are Carmilla season one, two, and zero. I have only, I haven't finished season three yet. I'm just not prepared for it yet. I really enjoyed the Carmilla Carmilla's Carmilla series so far from what I watched of it. Season one is probably my favorite, then two, then zero. Zero just didn't really add anything really for me. Like it added a little bit of parry, but that's about it for me. I don't know. I, I really enjoyed season one. I gave it an A, an A minus, and probably an A minus as well, but like lower than the A minus for season two. Next is um another middle middle movie in the Marvel franchise for me, and that's Ant Man. I still really enjoyed this one. I'm not saying I didn't like it. I gave this a B plus, closer to A minus, because I did really enjoy this one, but it just wasn't my absolute favorite. But I still really, really enjoy this one. Next is probably my second favorite book of the month, and that is Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. I read this in like two days, two sittings. I loved this book. It was so much fun reading it. I just, I, I, I loved this book. I'm so happy that I read it. And I will be talking about the movie as well in a little tiny bit. The next movie was Captain America Civil War. Civil War, yep. Almost forgot the title. I really enjoyed this one. An A. Because, yeah, I I loved rooting against Iron Man because I hate him. I hate him so much. So it was fun rooting for my favorite Avenger of Captain America. Because, like I said, I hate Iron Man and most of the people on this team, except for Black Widow. And lastly, I'm going to talk about the Everything Everything film. Actually, I still have some other stuff I need to talk about. Um, the Everything Everything film, it was, it was literally the book translated on film, which is everything I can ask for in, in a book to, movie out, a book to movie adaptation. This was everything I could hope, could have hoped for in the film. I cried at the end just because of how much I loved the movie. I just, I love this book and movie. Hey. So I'm going to talk about the two books that I didn't finish but read a little bit of. So the first one I'm going to talk about is Lady Renegades by Rachel Hawkins. I am not very far in. I've read 67 pages of the audiobook. It's pretty good. I just, I, I think I should have read this a lot closer to when I read the rest of the series. <sighs> I just think I'm just not that into this series anymore because of how long I've waited. And then lastly, I have read I've read 160 pages of Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare. I'm just burnt out right now, um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a few days and then pick it up in June. Yeah, I'm. Really enjoying this one, of course. It's just really slow to get into because of how long it is. Because <laughs> it's the same length as Court of Thorns and Roses, but I forced myself to read that because I didn't want it to take forever. Um, but I still really, really love this book. Okay, 
that's all I have for this video today. Tell me what you guys read down in the comments below and watched, of course, down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!